All right, so we've chopped it up with a couple younger guys. Let's get a kind of tweener in the mix here. Um, we got let's do Joe Mixon. Uh, we kind of did the ADP show last week. We said he should be way up high here, so fun exercise. And then we'll kind of hodgepodge it at the end. Get a couple other guys. I know our guest here wants to wants to talk a little Montgomery, which I mean, <laughs> hell yeah, fuck yeah, good came pop, right place. strong pop. There you are. You came to the right place, my friend. Um, and uh, anybody else you'd like to throw on the end here? So Joe Mixon. Um, currently, I got some notes somewhere around here. ADP um, 28. ADP 28. What's the age on, on Mixon? Where's he? I know tweener kind of deal. He's in the 25, 26 range. I got him somewhere. I can pull that up real quick. Joe Mixon. Oh, where are you at, Joe Mixon? He's, he's at 25, 26. Oh, he's going to turn 26 uh, coming into the year. So, like I said, that tweener kind of in the CMC uh chub age range which we haven't talked about a whole lot of that age range really uh, but uh sixth in yards created fifth in evaded tackles with 69 third in overall scoring for running backs and fifths in points per game at 18.8 uh, so a very good season from Mixon. he's always been a guy that's been waiting for the breakout waiting for the breakout people got excited people got excited felt like this was the year where everybody got off the train uh much to your point here Robbie as you've been talking about injuries and don't get away from them and here we are uh, offense is blossoming opportunities are there and the effectiveness with those opportunities and the effectiveness of this offense growing um, has all led to Mixon being very good and we know that he's a very strong talent um, so we kind of wanted to we threw him up to the top of saying that he's going to be up there uh, with all these guys again with the with the um, the tweener crowd up at the top of the, maybe the second round uh, so where would where would you guys have Joe Mixon in this mix up here? We've we've kind of narrowed it down to me. You know, we don't need to start at the top. He's probably below Christian McCaffrey. He's probably below Saquon Barkley, probably below the uh, Javante Williams, Antonio Gibson threshold here. Um, Kamara and Eckler. So th this is where you guys will find that that stand uh, who stands for who. Right. And. And I'm gonna be for Mixon. You know, this is a guy that I've been waiting on to, to see that have coming. a healthy season. Two for two. I'm pumped because this, this is a season you've been waiting for with Mixon for a long time, and and you saw flashes of it here and there. With I've the been waiting. Missing a couple games, and, and he just put it all together so far this year, and he's not done. And, and so with young Joe Burrow, um, with just oodles of talent at, at wide receiver, Jeez. Jamar Chase, T Higgins. Uh, you know, and, and Tyler Boyd as well. You know, I, I'm just really excited about Joe Mixon for for not just again. We're talking about two or three years plus. Like I, I don't think we've seen this year is what we've been waiting for, and now we've finally seen what, what I've been hoping we, we we could have seen for the last couple of years. And so, if he continues this 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 stretch of health, I think we continue to see this, and, and it's hard to find. There's only a couple running backs that I think you'll put above him. For me and Jonathan Taylor, obviously, just because his his rate of success is just too high. And I'll keep um, the the young, young guys uh, that we were talking about earlier, maybe Swift and, and, and Najee above him. But I'm going to slot him in right there with with CMC and Saquon as some as a it, what I say is an elite talent. And I get it. People are going to not put him in that same category because we haven't seen him do that. But I think we're seeing it this year. And I uh, what I think is that people will adjust to that postseason. They'll they'll look and be like, wow, this year, if he has 12 touchdowns right now, I think he ends with 15, 16. If he has just under a thousand yards, he gets up to 1400. And people see the 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 receptions as well. Maybe that creeps up to the 40 ish mark. I just think that that's a, a really exciting season from a guy who who isn't old. He's right at that that where we're having this conversation. And I, and I think that's why I have him same as CMC and same as Barkley. He's now having that season that we've seen from those guys. Maybe not CMC's ceiling, to be fair, but um, I, yeah, I, I like I like Mixon actually quite a bit. Um, so probably higher than than what you were saying earlier. Okay, I, I would probably still slot him in below those guys, uh, below the CMC, below the um, Saquon. Probably take Javante and Gibson, but I. I what about you know, Eckler and? And Kamara a, above those guys, above them, okay. above those guys. He's only one year younger than Kamara. That's five. That's one more year. That's one more year. 
And he, and, he, has, and, he hasn't and shown the ability to stay mad healthy. He, he hasn't. Kamara's a little banged up right now, but I, it's I bad can't, time to bring that up. I led right? it off with the with that conversation. Robbie then backed it up with even more like Saints. We hope that they can get it right. It's an organization that we trust. We trust Sean Payton. We know Kamara, but what's going to happen? We don't really know. We're not 100 percent sure. Whereas we know kind of where Burrow, where, uh, you know, that offensive line, uh, hopefully continuing to get better. Should they have still um, taken Sewell? No, they shouldn't have taken mm. Penny. Oh, but. we're finally off Penny for the Bengals. It took a it took a while. It, it took 13 <laughs> weeks to get that. It out was of before me. that. We just haven't okay, asked the question right, in a while. Fair. <laughs> um, but um, you know, so the opportunities are there. The health is there. The the talent is there. And then the um, the situation is that the, what you mean? Like the situation? Yeah. This the 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 very good to great situation is is right there on the cusp. Right. Where, you know, I don't think the Bengals' offense is going to take you know too many steps back of saying what happened. We're 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 going forward here and, and continuing to get better. So I, I like the the outcome of the range of outcomes for Joe Mixon over the next three or four years. And he he's on his second contract. He got an extension. Yeah, he's paid. He has yes, a 8.5 dead in 22, so he's there for another year, and then 5.5 dead in 23, which if he's rolling as a 27-year-old dude, uh, you're definitely paying him whatever's on that contract for that year. Um, so it's, it's at least – it feels like at least two more years with this Bengals offense. Yeah, and, and they've been rolling out before this year. They've been rolling out some of the worst tackles uh, in football, honestly. Like Jonah Williams couldn't stay healthy. Um, they've been rolling out backups. And so, you know, you talked about how exciting this offense is and, and if they can build on that line. Like, I'm probably where where Jay is with Gibson, where I'm, I'm the too high, right? I'm, I'm too invested in him. But um, just just especially the last couple of weeks when, when you've seen what he's been able to do, and, and I'll get kind of this excited about the next guy we're talking about too, but and they just, they just look so good when they're running the football uh, mix in the last couple of weeks where he's just making – um, a lot of people miss in, in every which way, right. you know, from, from agility, from his strength, pass catching his chops, you know, um, he, he just does a lot of things where I'm not worried about anything else, but it's the health. Right. And so I, I knock on Dalvin cook. Cause I haven't seen it for a season to be fair to, to mix in. We hadn't seen it from him either until so far this year, you know, knock on wood, but um I, I think I think we've arrived, and so it's it's that health thing that maybe why you and some others will keep him lower. Um, He's also I'm, maybe I'm a Shahid. Just gonna throw that out there. Uh, I don't have like like I know you want to talk about Monty coming up. That man's a, a Eagle Scout, you know. Joe Mixon, I have some concerns, <laughs> you know, off the field. Not sure that I'm like, but that's just a, a little caveat to throw a little wrinkle yeah, in there. But yeah. Has anything come up since since the the college incident? Or I haven't heard a word. A, if you yeah, play so. well enough, you know that that's yeah. obviously in the past for him. That's not an issue anymore. But you know, I don't know. At some point, like something happens right. with these dudes, and you just never know. And, and yeah, you get put in that situation once, it's possible it could happen again. Versus your your Austin Ecklers and, and like you're saying with David Montgomery, you have Eagle I think Scout, certain individuals yeah. that, that are not Jonathan Taylor wants to go to school to, for like rocket science or something after he's done. Like he he's <laughs> he's got long term goals and, and and you know Mixon Mixon's all about himself. You know, it, it's 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 a little the celebrations and stuff, you know, I'm not I'm not knocking the dude, but I, there's a little bit of concern for me. With mixing I've play. never heard Jay Wayne sound older. You know the celebrations and stuff. <laughs> just, it's just not a. <laughs> I mean, I like celebration. It's just like, man, you're not. You know, you're not the only yeah. dude on this team. You're not the only guy in the world. But <laughs> he's just very self-absorbed. It feels like. So where you got him, Jay? Let's, let's so we can get to Monty because I've dying to talk about Montgomery. I mean, I would take Kamara and Eckler. I think. And but nobody else. Nah, I mean, I, I you know I would have. All the other guys that we talked about over mixing, um, and I think I would slot him, but behind Kamara and Eckler, just because I mean Chubb, Chubb below all these guys, just real quick. Oh, he's Chubb, not a part yeah, of I mean that's opening below. up another whole can of worms, you, you know. I was just like, no, I, sure. I hear you. No, I that's would, a good question. I mean, I would probably again then slot Chubb right below where I'm putting mixing here. Um, give me yeah. Chubb, give me Chubb. If we're talking because here, here's the deal with Chubb. 
The only thing that really ke- has kept me away, I sold Chubb this year on on, on a rebuilding team uh, to the guy at, at uh, Dynasty Bauer. Theory, um, John Bauer. Um, had a good good trade workings with that guy. So shout out to the Dynasty Theory and and John Bauer. But he's he's had a devastating knee injury in the past. That's what keeps me from being like he's awesome. He's fantastic, but. The Todd Gurley's of the world, when you've been through the cycle, who had a devastating knee injury in college, all of a sudden, fine, 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 pops back up out of the foot. No, he can't, can't even get on the fucking field all of a sudden. Not saying that that's going to happen with Chubb, but it's just that thing in the back of my mind that he had a really terrible fucking knee injury in, in college. And it just it could be something that keeps his career from extending super late into uh, into this twilight there. Well, I think it's that, and and the, what's what's his ceiling, right? Like, unless we're talking standard, which I I, I don't think we have too many standard dynasty leagues. Mm-mm. He's Get just he here. just doesn't he just doesn't have the top five ceiling unless something changes. Well, I'm not saying he can't because when the, he when they do throw him the, the ball, the talent is uh, you know top right. the talent is top tier, and he can it's, catch. But they have another he, they monster there. They yeah. have another monster, and it works well for them. And he's so signed, that, I think, for another year. Yep, he's one more, I believe, and then and then he's, Hunt's. Uh, he's got they actually just, they have zero dead with Kareem Hunt in twenty two. But why wouldn't you going to keep Kareem yeah, Hunt next year? And then he's an un, he's an unrestricted free agent in two thousand twenty three. So maybe Chubb going into his twenty seven year old season uh, could finally get that backfield to himself. But then then you're looking at at another old dude. Um, and he let's see, Chubb actually has zero dead that they could get rid of him in 23 and 24 um, that ain't happen. but yeah i don't see that happening i mean unless his knee falls off i mean but yeah. if they're you know chubb yeah he had that devastating knee injury and and i guess the same thing happened with Gurley, right he had the devastating knee injury in college crushed it for the first few years in the league and then fell off and that's what's happening with chubb hasn't seen any fall off yet if anything he looks like he's just continues to get better <laughs> He's having his best season to date. I mean, he's 5.8 yards a clip, and he's fantastic this year. Maybe not the touchdowns where you want him, but I think that's the problem is he's running about as well as I've ever seen him, and he's still per game running back seven, right? It's it's the catches that are always going to hold him back for me. And for some and reason, below. like you said, it does seem like they get Kamara involved a decent amount in the red zone. Kamara? Hunt. Or, uh, Kareem, Hunt. Kareem, Hunt. Kareem Hunt. Oh, for Sorry. sure. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? You don't know what they're going to do with him. He, he's a slot receiver in a, in a running back's body and has all the moves. I mean, Hunt's amazing. Um, all right. Yeah. So let's move on to the next guy, and then we'll, we'll end it with some of these younger guys who have been hurt who are easily going to make it up into this area that we've now slotted all these guys into, uh, which is why this is a fun discussion because we slotted some guys in, and now when you come back in, you're like, I got to go, well, ooh, maybe, maybe, maybe I got to have him there. So, 